This man Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this, check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that, light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there, that's if you still living, grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. Yeah. It ain't just because the shit illegal. You just fucking up the amount of drugs that they gonna have for them. Oh, they yeah. out the drug game. Oh, I'm done. You ain't gotta, they, I know they showed it. me. Oh, yeah, yeah they Brad, showed me. That shit ain't never gonna stop, though. It ain't. It's crack, too much look, money in it. Look how much bad publicity crack has gotten over the last 20 years, and people still smoke it. That's what I wonder. How is it still <laughs> new crackheads? You you shouldn't even be able to get a motherfucker to, to try it's crack. some shit on the street right now. That crack is an introductory drug now. Oh, yeah, but still. Crack. How do you get a motherfucker to smoke crack now? You since you've been a fucking kid, you have seen a goddamn crackhead, and nothing glamorous is about their life. And you know what's crazy? Crack only came out in their generation. Like you had some of the new shit. What is it? Crack? No, give me some. Right. This is the same shit that ruined my life. Like okay, people like in the seventies <laughs> or eighties, they kind of get a pass. Yeah. But, but now, if, no, if no. you started smoking crack out the out the eight or nine, you don't get a pass. If you no, think about it. Twenty five years ago, damn near twenty four years ago, two thousand. They been, they got crackheads who have been smoking since then. Like, right, but I'm saying, how do you start smoking crack then? You know what the fuck it gonna do to you? I, nothing like there's nothing about crack that has ever made me say I can hit a little bit of that shit and still be good. I never wanted to hit it, but I'm just saying, I know what the fuck crack will do to you. I don't even have to be able to have so How do you crack. even become a new crackhead? That's what crack, the fuck crack I'm trying to figure not about to turn you on to some crack. Oh, yes, they Man, will. you know I can get some crack? Uh, no, I'm, uh, no. Oh, they'll turn you on. If you got some money, they'll turn you on because they, they, they want to smoke. smoke. Yeah, that's how I met the crackhead that had the most money I ever made for. It was a white guy. He tried to kill himself at Home Depot, but on the cameras, it looked like their fault. So while he was in the damn hospital, they settled out with him. So he went sue. He just and then he had checks coming every month. So what he did was he moved back home to my hometown. He had an old house. He fixed up or whatever. So he was slick. Oh, racist white man. He was slick. He had got the. He was crack. racist, but he had come on to smoke crack. No, I'm telling you what he did. He got the niggas in the hood who smoked crack to come do his little yard work and shit. So he asked her one day. He asked it. I ain't gonna call the nigga name, but it was my one of my favorite ones. He asked. He said, "Hey, what it is you do?" So he looked at and said, "Crack." So he said, what does it do to you? He said, you want to find out? So he said, yeah, the man, the white man, he couldn't even smoke the shit himself. He needed them to do it. He couldn't stuff the pipe. He couldn't fix the can or none of that shit. So the dude who already smoked crack, he came and got it from me, but he never spent more than $10. He ain't even had a whole 10. He always had $7, but one of the dime. So he came to me and had a hundred dollar bill. Like, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't sell shit. What the hell you got going on? Cause I thought he was the police. So when he started going across the street, getting it for about a week, and that dude didn't go to jail, the dude across the street went home one day. I'm sitting in the driveway smoking a blunt. So I was like, hey, what you need? He wanted to spend 100 again. So I find out where he was going. So I'm like, hey, tell your partner to hit me up, because you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all got too much shit going on. So my OG told me, you know what I'm saying? When you go riding there, you need to put it on him, take him your best shit. So the first time I went riding there, I put a half a cook on the table and said, whatever y'all don't smoke, I'll come back and get it. Knowing goddamn well they gonna smoke every gram of this shit. So by about three o'clock in the morning, they called me back. They needed some more. The dude who had the money, I used to drive him to the bank. Oh my mama! One day he passed out. Whatever medicine he used to take for pain, he passed out on the way to the bank. That's how I saw how much money he had in the bank because I had to go to the ATM for it. This motherfucker had over a hundred thousand dollars in the bank. I know goddamn well I got seventy of it. That's how I went Crack to Stories with Justin Whitehead. Hello, <laughs> I'm your host, Carlos Miller, and today Justin Whitehead will be telling us about the days where he used to sell crack cocaine.
Those days are over. <laughs> that's how I went to jail, though. That same dude. Because his brother found out. His brother was stealing his money, but his brother saw his money, like, decreasing at a rapid amount. He probably still getting checked. Yeah, he getting a check, but he ain't got that lumps on no more. I'm sure of that. Hey, man. Life happens fast. It be like that. I needed that. It's crazy. A lot of people think I'm crazy when I say I needed that. I needed him to go tell on me, so I... Because I wasn't going to stop. You were? You I needed were, him You to wouldn't have stopped? No, fuck no. I used to just tell people I, I wanted to be a comedian. I had no... I didn't get on stage until after I had caught the charges. Man. You said you wouldn't have stopped selling crack. You enjoyed it. You had a lot of fun selling crack. Because you had power, but it was also... Because everybody who never sold crack, they'll never say it, but it looks fun. Oh, it was. It ain't worth the it. The drug dealer's like it's looks, fun, but it ain't worth fucking it. fun. It, uh, if you take out the going to jail and shit, drug dealers have a very it's fun, interesting it's life. Good. It's yeah, but it's it's but it's the same old shit. You really it's really a trap for real because you ain't like you got if you don't have a team doing the shit for you or whatever, you really stuck in the same you spot. You fucked up if you got a team doing it. Everybody finna go to jail. I mean, well, yeah. These I was by myself. Can't stand a motherfucker. Shoot up everybody in the hood. As soon as they hear how much time they going to get, shit all over themselves. I was by myself. That's a lot of work to be doing. Selling crack by yourself, that ain't easy. Not really, because I mean, I was in a small town. So it was just like all I but did. But that, that's a lot of work. Think about it. You got to find the plug. No, I then, have to find it. That's why I got, you got in the, it. You got the easy. plug. Now you got to get this shit. Right. You got to cook up all this crack. That's the fun part. Putting that coke. But you ain't never have bitches cooking your crack Fuck with no. their titties out to, like Nino Brown. Fuck no. Well, what's the point? I, the point <laughs> is, is when I drop 18 grams in this goddamn <laughs> cup and stretch it back to 23, 24, I know it's a good goddamn time. I don't give a fuck about nothing. It was the money I wanted, it, but it was also the rush. You know what I mean? So I used to get pulled over with a half a cookie in my drawer and the police searching this bitch. I'm scared of hell, but at the same time, I know you're not going to find it. The only part about the dope game I hated, like not even going to, well, it is going to jail. When they made me take all my clothes off and cough and squat, that was the worst, that was the most humiliating <laughs> shit ever. Like, nigga, I ain't got no more fucking cocaine. I threw it out in the world. Now, why is I'm stripping in here, coughing his ass, nicking and shit? Like, bro, I hated that shit. That, out of all of that shit, not the mug shot, not being in court, not being in jail. Not my mama's looking at me when she bailed me out. But that ain't cruel and unusual punishment. It should be. And then they sent an old ass nigga in there with me, bro. The goddamn do it, bro. I'm like, dog, bro. You, you bro, I ain't got no more dope. Sue them, man. I'm like, bro. Do you think I had what time? Who you suing for? Because there was never in my life plans for no niggas to see me naked, bro. <laughs> they were like. You drove off from the police and so we don't know what you did with the dope. I said, bro, I almost told him I threw the shit out of him. I was like, bro, I ain't got no dope on me. I'm like, you got to call for squat. Why you say on me? Because they want, they think you I had them. You got to still deny selling drugs. It always to the end. No, oh, no, 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 no. See, this is what it was. He pulled me over and he said I had cocaine. So that's why he didn't get nothing off of me. He just said I had it. How he knew that? Somebody told him. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, um, right then? No, you that day, yeah. See, I was headed to take some dope somewhere, and he was ducked off waiting on me to pay it by. But oh. the people I was taking it to didn't have nothing to do with it. It was just he was watching out for my car because it, it's a small town. I was the only nigga down there with a white artist, so hell, he knew who to pull over. Oh, that's a lot. Then you get into a high speed chase. At I low drove speed. the fuck off. I told him, look, you man, was in a low speed high speed chase. Oh, it was high. I could have been was in the, in the Audi Audi. Yep, I gave that bitch every goddamn thing it could do, too, bro. For real? Yes, sir. They'd have the been proud of me. Bro. Huh? I ain't blow the motor up, but I blew the transmission up. Because yeah. when, when he pulled me over, I was in the grass. And I was trying, like, he had my hand out of the damn window. So when he seen the bag hanging out my window, I was trying to drive. He like, all right. I said, look, if you let me get out, I'll give it to you. I just wanted to run to get the dope off him because I had pistols on me. Everybody know pistols and dope don't mix. Yeah, absolutely not. He wouldn't let me get out. So he's still holding my hand out the fucking window. So, bruh, just how these lights shining down on me right now, I swear to God. The, the fucking, the Lord opened the damn cloud and, and came through my sunroof and reminded me I was so nervous I never put my car in park when he pulled me over. I just had both of my feet on the brake. So he got both of my hand out the goddamn window. And you think I'm finna let you reach in this bitch and get this goddamn plastic? All right. I said, let me out now. He wouldn't let me out. 
I just hit the goddamn gas. <laughs> but it was in the grass, so the it was front wheel drive, that bitch was spinning. I had to take my knee to get the goddamn steering wheel. So finally, he seen I went bullshit, he jumped the fuck back. Once the car got on the pavement, oh, it's out of here. It wasn't that God, bro, because there's no way I could do what the fuck I did. I'm not that smart. I'm hauling ass. I'm not paying attention in front of me. It's all the religious people. <laughs> it was God. No, 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 it was God. No. I fuck sincerely that. apologize. <laughs> God would never assist you in the police escape. <laughs> it was never a like, okay, full of yes. trash. Yes. And, and, Father and, God, I appreciate you. <laughs> that was the devil. No, he hell it was. Uh, I don't believe the devil. Lord, I would devil. never get a devil with that kind of credit. Cr- cr- <laughs> the devil, that was the devil. Bruh, think, I'm t- all right, let me tell you. When we I pulled have off. crack to sell. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't drive away. No, 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 no. Because it took it, bro. The way the think God would have came down and said, "Go, my son." Yep, that's exactly what he said. He said, "He said I ain't playing with your ass, nigga," and I drove the fuck off. Bro, I'm not even this smart. The dope was tied up. See, this is why. This is how he saw it. I had cut all the dope up and fit the slab because I, this, it's easier for me to just go ahead and kind of, I ain't got to take no extra shit with me. If something happened, I can just get rid of it quick. So, all right, I'm riding down the street. I got the dope sitting in like up under my um, emergency brake in a spot so they won't break up. I don't want to have to argue with nobody about this shit being a gram or whatever I had. It. So when he pulled me up, I took the dope and put it in my pocket. I had on them little 501 because them what were popular back in like 2011 whenever I caught the charge or whatever. So when I put the dope in my pocket, when I pulled my hand out, about that much of the plastic came out with the shit. So I didn't see it at first. I'm just so nervous, like, man, this shit need to goddamn, he need to go ahead or whatever. So when he come up and see my pistol between the seat or whatever, like it's registered, like, hey, fuck it. Like, and he see the pistol or whatever, that's all he worried about. So he like, hey, stick your hand out the window, let me get, you know what I'm saying? Well, first he came up and asked me where the guns or where the dope was. And I told him, man, have no dope. I just had a couple of guns. So he like, I see that in between your seat. For my safety, stick your hand out the window and let me grab it. So I'm like, all right, cool. Bruh, I've been through this shit a hundred times. They normally make sure the gun clean, send me on about my business. No, not this nigga. So I didn't know I had been told on at this point. So when he um when he took the gun, he got the gun, he put it on top of my car. So at this point, my hands are still out of the window. This big ass white dude. He got one hand around both of my, my wrists. So he holding my shit out of the window like this. So he like, is that marijuana hanging out of your pocket? I look down and see that plastic. I'm like, I mean, damn. So I'm like, nah, it ain't marijuana. So he said, what is it? I said, bro, you let me get out. I'll just show you what it is or whatever. So he's like, nah, I can't let you out. I don't even know why I want to get out because we in this country ass part, bro. There's nowhere for me to go. Like, nowhere. So then he like, uh, he said, I can't let you out. So on my mama, bro, Uh-oh. his hand was... It was slow motion coming in the window, reaching for that bag. And at the same time, it just like the sun shined down on my gift shield and reminded me I never put the bitch in park. So you think you finna reach in here and get this goddamn bag of cocaine if you want to? <laughs> Out of there. Go. That bitch was spinning in the grass. I dropped. Hey, hey, goddamn it, put your goddamn He said, what you know? He said, what you know? I said, you better get the hell out the way or finna go. So, bro, I drive off. When I get, when I finally get in the, on the pavement, we kind, we sort of kind of in a curve at this point. That's that's what I'm telling you. I, y'all said it it's somebody hitting me with this shit because it wasn't me. It's the devil. I'm not paying attention to the road at all. <laughs> I'm looking behind me, trying to make sure he ain't behind me. But I'm also going in my pocket, trying to get the dope. Now I got a knot. And you know, I'm tied the bag and I'm not. So I know not, well, I don't know this, but the person who were driving know not to throw the dope out with the damn dope still in the bag. So I bite the goddamn bag and I uh, just open it and just pull the dope out while I'm riding. So I get up the road a little bit more, I drop the plastic out. I'm not smart enough to do that shit. So I get on the road like another hundred feet and then it hit me. Nigga, you running from the police. And then I'm like, fuck. So at this point, I see police coming this way, this motherfucker behind me, and it's an intersection right here to the right. They come and do it. So it's a stop sign, like I say, coming up. So I'm gonna stop right here anyway, cause like, I don't even need to run no more. I get out the car, get on my knee, put my hand up. 
Polly get out. Get on the ground. I'm like, I'm on the ground. So he said, lay down. I said, all right, don't shoot me, cause he got a gun out. So he came and ran on me, hopped on my bed, just ripping on my pockets and shit. So I'm like, where is it? I said, what? Where's what? He said, where's that bag? I said, man. Hey man, this is Carlos Mills from the 85 South Show. If you on prize picks, make sure you use code 85 South so you can get that $50, man. Once you pick that $5, line up. Price picks will give you $50. That's if you use the code. You feel me? So I go just see. got it. All right. See? No cap. 85 it. South Show. Price picks. We on there right now. Yeah. Got me a good little $5 pick, too. Come on. Yeah. I put it together right here, man. I went to, you know, I dubbed the in the MLB, WNBA. Look, it's Came easy. back. Look, all you got to do is pick the over, under, more or less. Yards receiving, all of that. What you think? Zico? Multiple sports, hockey, WNBA, NBA, college football, NFL football. You can bet on whatever. It's not even necessarily a bet. It's picks. You picking though. You're not betting. You picking. You're not betting. You picking. You're not you pick. betting. You picking. You said do it all day anyway. Fantasy football made easy, even for people who don't even know how to play it. It's it's simple. Point and click. You pick your over, your under, more or less. What you think may or may not happen within the game, and then that's how you win. That's all the game that I can get. And depending on how you do it, it increases the odds. Absolutely, absolutely. The, Make sure you go to Prize Picks and use promo code eighty five. Ooh, the longer the shot, the bigger the win. I like how you put that. Hey man, huh? say man. Whoop it up. Hey, that ain't it. It's man. Man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Say, hey, man. Hey, man. Memphis, man. Oh, I'm going Memphis, man. Memphis, man. I forgot the day, man. But we, we coming. October 12th, man. October 12th, man. We're going to be in South Haven. They're right by Memphis. We going to motherfucking Memphis, man. Everybody from Memphis can drive over there. Yeah. You know, South Haven right now. So we're not going to Memphis. We're going to Mississippi. We're going to South Haven, Mississippi. But it's North Mississippi. Everybody from Memphis is going to come. Everybody in Memphis going to go. But all the Mississippi anyway. people coming too. Hey. South Haven with the Center. No, no cap. Uh, October 12th. 12th. Yeah. You might get one of them birds, man. That's a so pay week too. Memphis, so you ain't got no South excuse. We're going to go ahead, man. Call one man and get one of them birds. So we're going to South Haven. Hit the website. October 12th. But a lot of Memphis people get one of them birds, man. It's close to Memphis. Get one of them birds. Right. Memphis this way. Real, man. Right there. Right there. South Haven. Get one of them birds, man. You trying to get some birds? Um, birds. At least makes the neighborhood a little bit more safe. No cap. Leaf for the kid. October 12th. Duval. Hey, man, you know where we going, Is man. it time to go back? October 5th. We coming back to the Vistar Memorial huh? Auditorium. Where Slim. we going? Vistar. When? October 5th. What you talking about, nigga? Duval County. Come on yeah. now. And it's going down like that. Jacksonville, you Make heard? Make sure you grab some tickets and pull up on us, man. Come on, man. Big business. Come on. That's all we're talking about. Come Big on. Business. Duval Jacksonville. Where they get the ticket? 85southshow.com. Man, I ran because you were trying to choke me. Again, I don't know why I said that shit. I just said the shit. So. <laughs> hey, yeah, I done beat this shit. Now nah, I can talk about it. So. <laughs> yeah, this, it wasn't dismissed. I beat this shit. I can talk about it. So, goddamn. So. They searching me, they search the car, whatever. I'm sitting in the back of the police car praying, nigga, I hope I didn't drop nail one of these fucking slabs while I snatched that bag up. So after I see him just tearing up my car, he don't find it on the inside. So now he's trying to figure out how to open my trunk because the country ass don't know how to open all the trunk. So I'm just sitting in the back watching him do it. The police come back up. They, he told the police to go back because I threw something out. They don't find shit. They done ran all over the cocaine looking for me, looking for the damn, uh, looking for the dope. Because it's in the, it's in the uh, highway. People get out of church, they're driving over the shit. I can imagine all that good goddamn narcotic on them tires. So the uh, the land officer came back. He said, all I found was this. It was my Glock that was on top of my car. It flew off when I pulled off from him. So he said, all I found was this. There's no cocaine out there. So he's like, he had it in the bag. He had it in the bag. I know it was cocaine. You a fucking liar. You didn't get to see what it was because it was in my pocket. All you saw was plastic. So, what I told them the plastic was, it's a hot dog spot back in my crib called Monroe. They used to have some um, brownies wrapped up in the plastic at the cash register. I used to get them bitches all the time. So I said, that was the word. It was just some plastic on the seat. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, because I never had a cocaine tub before, so you can't sit out with my shit. So, but anyway, back to, he locked me up, because he didn't find no cocaine. So what he locked me up for was uh, attempting to elude, obstruction of the officer, aggravated assault on the officer, because when he was hanging in my window and I drove off, that put his life in danger. So he gave me aggravated assault on officer for that shit. So I'm sitting in the holding cell. This on a Sunday. I'm sitting in the holding cell, waiting on them to book me or whatever. He go back 
He called the fucking police department. He said, hey, add possession of cocaine to the charge. So I'm like, how the fuck he took my add possession of cocaine to the charge? So I'm thinking, okay, they don't found a piece in the car. They got to be what it is. He found a piece in the car. He went back to the scene and got the bag and wanted to charge me with the residue. Now, back then, I didn't know that, but he can't charge me because you didn't bring it to the jail. But the lady got to do what he said. So they added the charge up. So, like I said, I didn't know to say that this man tried to choke me. He got recently got fired from the sheriff's department for shooting up his own police car, saying that a black man shot it up or shooting at him, and he shot at the black man. So he got fired for some racist shit. My lawyer found that shit out and he told me. So, okay, all right, that's all I need to know. So when we pulled it, we get the discovery and the um, the, the dash cam is in, the DVD is in the discovery. Me and my lawyer looking at it. He was like, was he trying to choke you then? I was like, he wasn't trying to choke me. He said, was he trying to choke you then? I said, yeah, that's when I drove off. That's when you trying to choke me then. So, okay, we can <laughs> ride now. I don't have no prize. I don't have nothing. Let go. So we get to court. Uh, I get locked up like December 18, 2011. I end up going to trial July of 2012. So this shit was fast. My lawyer asked for a speedy trial. He didn't want to get on time to get none of the shit together. So we go in to do the shit. The lawyer come in. I mean, the, the police come in, the DA come in. They trying to charge me with all the cocaine. The judge like, there's no cocaine on the table. If y'all don't have no cocaine, we're gonna dismiss, we're gonna, we're gonna dismiss trial for the day. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, recess to tomorrow. If y'all don't have no cocaine tomorrow, we're gonna throw the cocaine out. Mind you, I told you I had crack. They come back in the net, they with a half an eight ball and some powder. What? Yep, trying to hang me. Do you know how many people really been hung by that shit, bro? On my mama. They come back in the net and say, I told you what I did with my dope. I poured that shit out. It was crack. I can, I can say this shit now. It was crack. I poured it out. They come back in court the net, they with a half an eight ball. They don't went and got out of the evidence room on somebody else. They really tried to railroad me, bro. That's why I don't fuck with that shit no more. Like, they really tried to railroad me. It's really innocent people, you know, or people who they didn't really get, you know, legitimately. They were trying to plant that shit on me. So what the judge said, he was like, that on the table don't look like what you're saying is the cocaine on the dash cam. So they were like, they went to recess for uh, to go to lunch or some shit like that. So we came back from lunch. My lawyer said they offered you a plea bargain. So I'm like, what is it? First, I was like, bro, I told you that uh, I ain't taking no plea bargain. So then he was like, just hit me out. So like, what is it? So he was like, um, five, serve two. So I'm like, nope, not doing it. I want to hear that shit. So then he went and told him what I said. They told him, all right, we'll drop the cocaine and he still serve five. I mean, he still do five, do two. So I'm like, what the fuck is it? All right, cool. I know what they, they ain't got shit. They do it. So I went and took it in front of them. We ran the shit. And the only thing they found me guilty of is attempting to elude and obstruction. Because they couldn't prove he was trying to choke me and they couldn't prove to him that what he was saying that I was driving away to throw dope away. So I beat all the felony charges. So I got all my guns and all that shit back. So I was like, fuck that shit. You want me to do comedy? All right, I'm gone. This nigga here, man. <laughs> I ain't clapping for you. He's so crack. <laughs> that was it. He's so crack in the community. Hey. Some of your favorite rappers sold crack in the community. No, they didn't. What they did? They just rapped about it. They, they just rapped about, about it. it. Yeah, well, I, I really did it. <laughs> they can have that shit. Because it was like, bro, it's, it's nothing to glorify. Like, kids, don't do it. Go learn your trade. You know how many niggas you got to know? How long were you selling crack? Huh? How long were you selling crack? From... Don't answer that. Don't answer. Not I, what? Not shit. It's, it's, that's over bad. here. It might not be. Don't say nothing. Don't say shit. Not long. Not long. Because it's a small town. And I was so fortunate, I didn't have to start like a lot of people. See, I ain't gonna know what fate like I just You was fortunate shit out of the in the crack game. Yes. I met the, like, my OG knew the, the plug plug. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. It was time, like I say, it was time cocaine with 1050, but... We'll meet a motherfucking plug who will come from Douglasville and they'll have, they'll drop the shit on the table. We do the numbers. We getting the shit like six fifth or out. So we selling the shit for 10 fifth and like we eating. But it's like. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Those were the days. So, but you know, when you eat like that, motherfuckers in the hood, they hating on you. They get caught. They going to jail. Why y'all ain't looking at him? He the ones, he's selling all the goddamn dope. He got more than I got. Y'all worry about this little shit. Oh, he is. But I had such a clean image. I stay out the way. I don't do shit. I don't party. I don't do none of that. So it's like they didn't know nothing about me. It took a white man to literally go down there and say he's selling dope. And they got on me quick. You know, it take a couple of niggas to go tell on you. One white person tell on you, they get the goddamn yeah, whole squad on you. Public enemy head. number one. That's crazy. Well, kids, don't sell dope. Don't sell dope, don't smoke it. Don't smoke it either. Yeah, but America loves some drugs, bro. This whole country is it's built on one it. big dope thing. You seen that, that uh, painkiller documentary on Netflix? No, what is it? I look at it because I love it. It's shit. called Painkiller. Oh. Very interesting shit. I saw one about um it's not, it's like the, hold on about like when they put in perks. Yeah. yeah. Is it about that? Yeah. I hadn't seen that on Netflix, but Matthew, I saw a documentary Matthew, about it. Um Matthew Broderick is in that shit. Mm. <clears throat> you gotta check it out. That shit crazy. It's about the family who started all that shit. These motherfuckers was low down too, bro. They purposely got people addicted to it? Absolutely. Oh. The whole country. So it wasn't for pain. It was for... Oh, it was for the pain. Oh. But they knew the shit. They knew that people, all, everybody wasn't taking it for pain relief. No, I'm saying when they, they concocted the shit, was it intentional? To make it addictive as hell? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. They added the shit in there that make you addicted to it. Once so that they, ain't even necessary. Once they found out what it was, they added a whole bunch of that shit. Is that necessary for pain though, or is that just something that make you so fucked up that it's, you forget it's, it's that you got? It's more of a mind thing anyway. I see that what it is. Yeah, because you still be in pain, but your brain somewhere oh, else. Nah, you ain't feeling shit. Oh, you feeling good in the motherfucker? That's why the <laughs> people addicted to it. Yeah, see, I'm scared but of shit. Think about it. If you've been in pain, like people who legit use them motherfuckers, right? Who've been in pain for years? Who done had twenty one surgeries and shit? Chronic they pain, got bone to bone shit. This shit hurt for real. Yeah. Now this shit work for them. But they need it. Right. But it's some more motherfuckers over there who they done found a way to crush that shit up and set oh, it on fire yeah, and yeah, shoot yeah. it up. They done found a whole nother use for this shit. So now they got a whole nother different kind of addiction. It's legit for what it's legit for. But then you still might get addicted to taking that motherfucker because it's going to make you feel good. So what's the difference of taking it by mouth and crushing it up and shooting it up? Hey man, Crushing it up and shooting it up, that's when it's drugs, man. That's drug, drug then. It's already a drug. You could have left it but alone. But it's the same shit. It's it's a different effect because you're putting it in your body. They want, different I guess somebody just want to. It feels better if they direct do injection. Yeah, because I don't. It's like I'm not like if I gotta get fucked up. Like if that was the only way to to get high off of weed. I just wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not sticking myself with shit. Nothing. Nothing. You over? I don't want to. Fuck drugs, man. If weed don't do it, I'm good. That's gonna be good enough. That's it. I don't know. Weed and a nap. Puss that drug. You ain't gotta tell me I'm addicted. Man, we addicted to that shit. Look that's at that. Look at the lengths you'll go through for some pussy. Look how much I done paid for it. Damn. At least right, when at the end of your life and they looked at all the shit you spent money on, you probably spent a third of your income on some pussy. Or the pursuit of pussy. That's what I'm saying, you know. Like if you was gonna write it all off, everything could be under the category. Needed some clothes for some pussy. Needed this car for clothes. Like work. Uh, $10,000 a year on haircuts. And... Nah, I got down. Bruh, it, it, if you could, it, I'm pretty sure it's some people that can write that shit off. They know how to write that shit off. Yeah, is it expensive? Yeah, some type of way. I ain't met them type of people yet. I need to find out how to get my money back off some of these edible arrangements. And goddamn, you got to start sending. You got to get your company name. I'm saying it like that. Yeah. The the date is the bit is the uh, it's a business dinner. You're having a business meeting, and the edible arrangement and shit. That's you know what I'm saying. It's a cost of doing business. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's promotion. For your company. Yeah, well, is, is that how you write shit off? I don't know. I don't know. The tax, you might have to just hire a tax professional. 
I got that to. Would, that would be the best advice. Taxes, taxes ate my ass up last year. That sound freaky. But yeah, how are you a tax professional? I got to. What you waiting on? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I, I I have to. I ain't did it. I ain't waiting on shit. I just like. Yeah, this should just, you need to get on that immediately. I have to. I really do. Because it ain't about just, hey, how much you paying taxes. There's a lot of. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up? It's your man, Carlos Miller. What's something that you love to learn as an adult? Do you make time to learn new things as often as you like? Or was that lost in childhood? Kids are always learning and growing, but as adults, sometimes we lose that curiosity. What's something that you like to learn? Gardening? A new language? Maybe how to finally beat your best friend in bowling? Look, therapy can help you reconnect with your sense of wonder because back to school error can come at any age. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Rediscover your curiosity with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash 85south today to get your first month free and get 10% off. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85south. Ladies and gentlemen, our next sponsor needs no introduction. You've seen the ads. You've heard me talk about this for years and years, about a million times, and by now, you should already know what I'm talking about. Is that blue chew? Oh, hey, is that blue chew? Blue chew.com and go get you some. Yes, sir, that's right. That's right. This isn't your grandpa's Viagra. None of that. No, it's made in the United States. You feel me? It's a sexual stimulant. So you can get stimulated. Make sure you go to bluechew.com and use promo code 85 Lounge. You feel me? You can receive your first month free. All you gotta do is pay for the shipping. Yeah. And go to bluechew.com for more important details and safety information. Miami. Uh-huh. You already October know what's going 6th. on. No, what we October doing? 6th, James what? L. Knight Center. Hmm? James L. Knight, oh, sit to the oh, list. What? Fuck, nigga. Hit the website. Oh, know what it is. You know what I'm mind, nigga. Like my, 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 my. Yeah. You sung the song? Uh, October 6th, Miami. Yeah. Yeah. James L. Knight Center. Push it, nigga. Oh, push it, nigga. 85southshow.com. Get your ticket. Fuck you, tell me that. Shit, it's a lot of money you might be missing because of taxes. Because you're not writing off the right shit for your business. Yeah, it's just well, something to think about. Knowing that shit. Get you a good lawyer, tax person, and then ball to you fall. I gotta give me some more money. You talking about hiring all these motherfuckers? Yeah. It's not, they, they gonna work with your budget, nigga. They can't charge you the same shit they charge uh, Arthur Blank for. You ain't got Arthur Blank money. I don't. Nigga. How much money you think a motherfucker gonna charge you to manage a little bit of money? No, I'm talking about like lawyers and shit. They need man. regular clients too. Lawyer, you ain't, you gonna just pay the retainer, man. You just so they'll be able to answer your call. Man. Oh, that's it. It ain't like you paying them $70,000 a year. You ain't got Jermaine Dupree money. Right. You just putting something down just in case something happens. Hey, yeah. hey, I'm just introducing myself so you'll know who I am. I'm the nigga sending that $100 a week down there in <laughs> case I slap the shit out of somebody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> It ain't like you planning on a Rico case and nothing, nigga, just in case something happens. Somebody yeah. hit you or something. You just need a good lawyer on the team, nigga. And, you know, well, then you need an entertainment lawyer. Make sure you ain't getting... Them, these two different lawyers. You need a criminal lawyer and an entertainment lawyer. You need a lawyer to keep you free and a lawyer that can up your feet. Cool. Yeah. They can read over them contracts and get to the fine print and they call you back and be like, this is one of the worst contracts I've ever seen. And they, make, they they type them and send them to you just like, like you. Why you say that? And they say, well, you do understand if you do this show, then they're going to use this shit forever. And they, it's a lot of language in there that you need to really be able to have somebody understand. Because these people full of shit. I can believe it. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's just shitty deals. It look like good opportunities, but they don't really be. Pay you a little nothing and you usually move for the net. Like Sanford and Son. Shit will be on TV forever. 
20 years later, you still flipping late at night. Man, I can't believe it. You ain't getting no money off of this shit. Nothing. That's crazy. How do you send a person a deal like that? They know what the fuck they do. They do. And people sign them, obviously. You know what I had somebody, I hired somebody to do? Just every couple of months, just go and find my money. What do you mean? Money that's owed to me. Oh. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Be going to find all kind of money. You know motherfucker owe you when you have to pay somebody to go find it. They owe me. The craziest shit is the people you have to hire when you need shit done. You gotta hire some people. But they in business for a reason though, because obviously it's, it's shit so much is being better. done. The results are so much better. Oh yeah. I mean, cause they know what to do. They know who to talk to. They know where to go. Just sometimes you just gotta ask the right question. You ever found out that somebody did some shit that you ain't even know they did? Oh yeah, you know. I nigga, I got a notary public. Nigga, where the fuck you get a notary public? Oh, that's what I really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shit like that. Yeah. But you never know till you really need some shit. I be trying to connect with people in in like strategic positions. That's why I love this show. I done met some of the coldest motherfucking people, like just the fans. It's this girl, she a whole ass scientist, man. Like she invented some shit. I forgot what it was. I'm gonna have to go back and look. She was on the show or she was just a fan? She was just a fan. Mm. Working on some kind of dope ass research that had got a whole lot of money put behind it. I forgot exactly what it was, so. I ain't heard from him in a while. But it was just cool to connect with these people. No, it's really some dope people. Let me be being some dope ass people. It's some dope people in the world. There's a lot of um, people in the military with top secret jobs that be fucking with this too. Well, not top secret jobs, but they got the top secret clearance. I mean, what you mean, man? They got the clearance to go back there with the top secret. Oh, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, shit, bro. Somebody got to do these jobs. They took it's me back. It's just amazing there. that they be fans of they ours. They took me back there, bro. To to where the top secret shit at? But I ain't see no top secret shit. So I was just in the room where it be. Oh, where the shit go down. So this before you go in there with the top secret shit, bro. They point at they got the person that point at the sign and say you could be shot at any moment and at your own risk. Somebody looking at your ass. At any moment, they could just open fire and then your ass out of here. You fuck around and see the wrong shit, they could just shoot on sight. You know what top secret shit that I really am um, interested in? Hold up. So I get in there, right? So they got this code word that they use that make make sure everybody on point. Uh huh. Like all these screens in here, make sure there ain't shit on no screens now. We got some people. Like that's got they do all that shit before you come in there. Right. So when you come in there, bro, it just it's like, blank. But if they would have left some shit on the board or some shit like that, you gotta die. What did that set up? <laughs> well, he saw what was on the board. They had to kill him. It's some shit you think you want to know, but I don't even know if I really want to know this shit. No, no. I, it, Sometimes it, the idea of the shit is just too much. I only want to know what I'm supposed to know. Like the aliens and shit. I don't want to know. If these motherfuckers is real, I don't want to know. They probably are. If I ever see one. They make too many movies. If I see one He's walking like, through the backyard, uh, then cool. But other than that, I'm not going to look for that shit. I don't even care. Some big slimy motherfuckers from Mercury out here somewhere. I don't never be thinking about that shit. <laughs> some big slimy motherfuckers with lizard pussy. <laughs> <laughs> the only top secret shit I want to see for real is the, the president's car. I don't know why I'm interested in that shit. The president's car. Yeah, the limo. That what did you call it? What they they name they nickname or something that. The, what? The um. Oh, that big ass Cadillac. Yeah. They had to do all them stunts. And I, shit. Yeah, I just want. I, that's that's the only thing I really want to see. And I'm telling you, I saw an episode of uh, Jay I Leno love Garage. Look where I could buy government vehicles. They throw them away. They would often tell you they won't let you get them. Word. Yep. They won't let you get them. Like they got the the president's car. They got um I don't know if, know if it's Trump's or Biden's car on uh uh no it's Biden's car. They got it in in Jay Leno on one of his YouTube um shows. See they do you see how certain rules don't apply when you a certain motherfucker. But they won't let you look on the inside of it and they won't answer certain questions. They just if got Jay Leno there. got one, he didn't been in there. No, no, no. They drove his car there and let him do the show on, then they took it back. 
The Secret Service was on the episode. Oh. Yeah. Is, is, is it, a, they couldn't show him? No, they just showed the outside and then he asked questions. They, that's why I want to see, like, what's the inside of shit? Like, it's crazy. It's really know. a waste of episode, but it, he knew it to get ratings or whatever. Because yeah. after I saw it, it was like, what's the fucking point? I didn't learn nothing. <laughs> see, this white people who do that type of shit, them be the ones who you meet when, on vacation and then they be drunk and they tell you a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> and you don't know if it's help. real or not. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I work for the government, and I'm gonna tell you something. There's some shit out there that you guys don't fucking know. <laughs> for real, and you be like, oh, this is a motherfucker talking about, and he be tell dead ass here. Shit's not what you think it is. It's real, bro. <laughs> Maybe you could find an Ninja Turtle, it's real. If what? The Ninja Turtle, The Ninja Turtles. <laughs> bro, that do be crazy when I think about it though. Like, why would they be showing us some shit you know like that? Yeah. They just know these motherfuckers seen some shit like that. They might not have been necessarily Ninja Turtles, but they probably went somewhere and saw some turtles with some big ass muscles or some shit. <laughs> all of this shit, all of this shit is inspired by something. The shit is down in the Galapagos Islands and shit. <laughs> Big strong ass turtle walking around like a grown man. The same place they find Benny Benny. Wouldn't Apollo it be walk? cool? <laughs> they fucking knew karate. <laughs> and a rat was teaching them everything. And they love pizza. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you ever watch any of those documentaries about the people who live in the underground tunnels and shit? They got people who live under the city of Every New York. Every time I go to this nigga house, he got a documentary on TV. Yeah, I watch a lot of shit. Look it up. People, it's a lot of cities that have like underground cities, like Chicago and New York. But in New York, it's like a hundred thousand people who live below the below this in Las Vegas. Um, they live below. Live under the city. You can look it up. It's another city there, or they just come up when they need some shit. The old old parts of New York is still underground. So these motherfuckers got cable, electricity, everything. But they like homeless type that community. Oh, I, they had an HBO documentary about that shit a couple years ago. That's crazy. Mole people. That's the name of it. That's the term they're called. Mole people. Or below people? Mole. Mole. Yeah. Oh. Because they live in a hole or some shit. Because oh. they live underground. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. See if you can find the name of that HBO documentary they had. It's probably on Max. That's crazy. I'm going to go look that shit up. That type of shit be interesting to me. He imagined I that. never would have imagined that though. It's called Dark Days. Dark, Dark Days, Day. everybody. Dark Days. I would have never imagined that shit. That it's people, but you just never know. You never know what's going like, on. Who the fuck could be watching you and shit? Like, people live under them bridges. You know how much good shit they didn't heard people talk about and people didn't even know they was there? Yeah. You know how much hey, shit man, they done seen? Hey, man, where you at with the crack cocaine? And I'm telling you what out there I'm with you. Motherfucker ain't got the money. They got a pistol whipped under the bridge. Murder, got robbery. Yep. Oh, I'll probably shit. shit the, you know, secret ass govern, uh, government shit. Motherfucker might be done. I wonder if the some bridge. of them people who be like on the missing posters, like they probably still like living amongst us and they check to see if they still missing. Yeah, motherfucker still looking. They don't want to be found. They don't want to be found. I wonder how many cases it is like that. Somebody, you ever think people be putting a missing poster out and the wrong people looking for them? I don't know. <laughs> what if you fuck around and seen yourself on one and you wasn't missing yet? Yeah, the like, what fuck? the fuck? <laughs> How long have they been looking for me? But you know, like a motherfucker like the government might be looking for somebody who knows some shit. And they ain't really missing. They just don't went AWOL. They want to kill them. What if they, what if your parents had one of them secret ass jobs? And you don't know shit, but they think you do. And now you ran away. And I'm they saying, they like looking for you yeah. just to get they just so you won't be out here, just in case you do know some shit. Right. So they can kill you. So that's why you don't want to be not fine. They can kill you. That's too easy. They'll just keep you. The shit that you know is too valuable. You think that's worse than killing? Hell yeah. You better. If a motherfucker just keep you alive in like Think of not just like like America right now, like you inside of a cell of America, not jail, like you underground type shit. Okay. Like you see people who can help you every day 
They can't hear you. They can't see you. But I'm saying though, you 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 saying that's where they keep them at on the ground? Then I'm just I don't know. It it could be multiple places, or they what if they just kept you underwater? You think they ain't figured out how to build shit underwater? I don't put nothing past. They put no you place. in a facility that's located so deep underwater you can never escape. Even if you get out, you be dead by yeah. the time you get to the top. Yeah. So that's fucked up to even think about. Two three days in a fucking submarine, you didn't have to just go straight down. Well, the pressure so and like, how the fuck did they do this? That's Whole crazy. underground facility now. It ain't wet in there, nothing. Ain't no water dripping. It looked <laughs> like this shit. A whole nother life. You can never go back to the fucking earth, though. You Way in the kingdom of Bob. The <laughs> There's a whole bunch of motherfuckers who in the same predicament. That was fun, Bobby. You, man. you, get you in the kingdom of Bob. Shake your head. That was fun, Bobby. Man. man, what the fuck you doing down here? Man, my daddy told me about the aliens. Oh, shit. <laughs> What what are we? Man, we people who know shit that they don't supposed to know. We can never be up up top again. That's fucked up. Kill me. Y'all want to get something to eat? Where the fuck y'all getting food from? Cra uh, uh, Mr. Crab. <laughs> More than some Krabby Patties, y'all. You know? <laughs> and y'all know what you're eating because it's a secret. Telling you, bro. That is, that's some scary shit. I know it. I don't want to think about fucking, it. All these rockets and shit that they send into Mars to go look, take pictures and shit. What if they just got some people just, like them astronauts, just suspended out there in space? I don't, that's why I don't you go in looking for outer shit. space. You, 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 too had to be reached by a plane, but they got the shit that they get you there and they like, they got a whole little shit you set You don't up. think they sent them out there? You right there in that part where it get dark at. You close to Earth, but you a little bit higher than them cell phone satellites. So you can you you close to Earth, you but you can still see Earth. It look close, but you really ain't close. You don't know if you the fuck gonna fall if you step off this shit. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know if you can swim back to Earth or what. You fucked up. <laughs> you, fucked up. <laughs> you too far away from Earth for this shit to just be for you to return home. You can never go back. You can see it, but you can't go. That's why I don't want to know nothing like that. I don't want to know nothing. But think about it. The only reason why you're comfortable with the shit that you know is because you have accepted it. Right. If they came out and told you tomorrow, okay, we got some new information. The Earth is actually traveling at 100 gazillion miles forward, and we don't know where this bitch is headed, and it's been doing that since the since the beginning of time. <laughs> I'll be fucked up. I'll be mad. We feel like the fuck you told is me. close. Because think about it, bro. From what we know, we are on a floating rock that's being held up by some shit that we only, we can't even prove is real. I don't want to know, though. <laughs> we can't prove. I don't want to know. They told us about some gravity from some shit they did, but we can't touch that shit. I don't want to know. I'm good not knowing. That's just like knowing when you die. I don't want to know. What the fuck am I going to do? The crazy thing about that is you pass your death date every day, every year. Right. One of them days is going to be that day. I thought about that. I thought about that shit. I was like... When there was somebody died, I was like, I want to do a motherfucker ever what they felt like two, three years ago on this day. Like, you probably did it at home watching TV, eating fruit snack with your hand in your draw. That's don't life. Even, don't even know, three years from this day, I'm going to be out of this bitch. The, ain't it crazy how everybody do that, though? It don't matter where you at in life. Everybody had that one day where they just lay around in their drawers just watching The Simpsons and shit. Family feud. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, everybody got that little... Man, I ain't got shit to do today. I might just lay here and rub on my goddamn balls and watch the game. <laughs> we all did from me to you to Steve Jobs. Yeah, everybody. everybody you can't did that. You can't goddamn. Hey, I'm just gonna sit at my, my lady cooking tomorrow, man. We'll eat some chicken and watch these we get cowboys today. Get me. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing to that. Like, look, no, yeah. Man, shit. That what I do when I get off the road. What? Sit back and watch TV. What the, what the fuck you be watching though? I like documentaries and Family Feud. Family Feud. I love it. Why? <laughs> Why that's Steve your shit? Funny as a song bitch on that. When the motherfucker say a stupid ass answer, and I just like to yell out what what could be. And I, you know me, I like to react to what's on TV too. So like when people Jeopardy. say stupid I ass, work with Jeopardy. I, my dad would turn me off on Jeopardy because he used to bet us the money that he used to give us for allowance. 
But we didn't know his motherfucking ass used to watch in the daytime while we at school. Oh, so, so he when we get back at night, yeah, when he get back at night, we think it's a fresh episode. He done watched it already, got all the answers, and took all our damn money. Damn. <laughs> so I hate Jeopardy. Damn. I stayed home one day with strep throat and said, I'm like, what the fuck is this coming on? And noticed it came back on again that night, and all you smooth talking son of a bitch. You know what all black people are love? What the fucking prices, right? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, my grandma, yeah. But my grandma stopped watching when Bob Barker left. She ain't like it. It What's ain't the same. Show, the old show, the $20,000 pyramid with the look. No whammies, no whammies. I don't know. You remember that shit? I just knew about like Family Feud, uh, Price is Right, Let's Make a Deal. Um, my shit was Supermarket Sweet. I never seen that. The next time you're at the supermarket and you hear that beat, remember, you can be on Supermarket Sweet. Motherfucker be at the grocery store. Going crazy, nigga. Where they get the shit for free? So they ask you little shit about the products at first, right? You got a partner, and then y'all just rotate answering questions, right? Then if you, you get the question right, you got to run through the grocery store and find the shit. You find the shit, you get money. Mm. So then, based off how much money you get, from the grocery store, from the Q and A shit, that's what position you get to start on on the supermarket like shop off at the end. They give everybody a certain amount of time. They got like items that you can get. Like if you brew some coffee, that's an automatic like twenty five, fifty dollars. And if you get the dog food, that you know what I'm saying, they put yeah. little prices on the grocery. You got a grocery shop, then come back before the certain amount of time. Whoever get they shit, whoever get the most shit. Like the most valuable groceries, they won. That shit used to go crazy, bro. So what they win? The money that they you get the money in the groceries. Oh, yeah. See, I ain't the only thing I ever saw was on Price of Right when they have to guess how much the shit costs, and then if they guess how much it costs, I don't, I don't know if they win that price. I don't know. I used to have to watch that. I watched it with my grandma, so I don't really. Oh, the Price is Right used to go crazy. Damn, a few my favorite. Motherfucker used to love that Plinko. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That bitch that go yeah, all over yeah, the goddamn. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Then the, the showcase where they had to spin that big ass wheel. Yep, yep, yep. Motherfucker go past that five and that ten. You're like, God damn it. Walk away with 30 fucking cents. 30 cents. You wanna spin again? I'm gonna spin again, Bob. <laughs> Thirty-five cents. You got a total of sixty-five cents. The best that now let's make a deal showed you how people are uh, ungrateful. You have a son of a bitch who win a whole convertible out of one door, then they just ain't happy with shit. Then they fuck around and win a pile of hair grease in the next door and be fucked up. Like, damn, I should have kept door number two. Oh, <laughs> you know another game niggas you love on prices, right? What? The higher or lower game. Oh, yeah. You know what used to always fuck people up? What? That goddamn rice a roni. <laughs> hey, the rice used to fuck everybody. Shut up, right Cause now. you know how much it costs. Is it higher or lower? <laughs> Hi, everybody ain't got their own. Higher, higher, lower. You always listen to a bitch you don't even have to buy rice a roni. Lower. <laughs> Fucked up. No, what made you think rice roni was cheap? It's not. It not back then. It, was. it ain't that. Or the one where they had to come through and they guess the price of the shit, and Bob be like, "Okay, you got two right. You have fifteen seconds, and you got to switch the price." Yo, yep, and they have them fucked up, boy. They have them fucked up. And then go back, and then he like, "You only have one right." Like, God damn, we one with all of that. And it be the one you got fucked up the first time, and then you don't fucked up oh, the last two. Most hated person on prices, right? Who? The person who be like, "What's your bid?" Oh boy, 220, Bob. 175. <laughs> $100. The actual retail price? $1. $1. The actual retail price? $52. And then the man I want a motherfucking dollar. Going on to the back and don't win shit else. I don't be satisfied with some of the prizes. Like, I be wondering sometimes, like, man, what the fuck am I going to do with this goddamn, yeah, this yard set, go this patio on. set? That's I don't want this shit. I'll take that shit. And do what, bro? I'm act like I want it. I'm, I'm going to sell all that shit. Is. I don't give a fuck what it is, nigga. I want it. And they used to always give you the ugliest cars. Like, I don't want this goddamn hatchback. I'll take it. I'll trade it in for something old. 
You could win a 1991 Ford Fiesta. That all they used to have. <laughs> While you're in your Ford Fiesta. You, and then they'll send you on a bullshit vacation. Yeah, bull, <laughs> bullshit. It'd be some part of California you never heard of. Yeah. Beaver Creek Mountain, California. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you you win and take your new jet skis. The jet skis was the most dangerous shit they ever had. Y'all don't want none of that shit. None of it. None of the prizes were ever good to me. I used to be like, man, I wonder, can I, I trade some of this hit shit? I the motherfucker in? with the uh, home workout shit. Again, <laughs> what I'm gonna do with this shit? You ever see how the fat people look? They give it to them. They be like, man. When they give them the treadmill? Yeah. Like, give me the fucking barbecue grill, a uh, 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 trip or some shit. Like, it be always gifts I don't never fucking like. Like, they did have some bullshit prizes on there. Give me the money. That's what I want. That's what I want. Oh, I like one in the. Uh, what it was? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? That was five two. Oh, I like when they had the little lady on there who be talking shit. Regis was dope. That was I like. I like that little mean lady. After Regis, what was that? What Barbara. That, was that? Who wanted to be a millionaire? That she had the show where she asked. Hey, Barbara, wasn't? Are you sure? Oh, I don't know. That your final answer. That mean that's, lady. I don't know who it was, but that one, that's who wants to be a millionaire. I just used to yeah. watch it when Regis was with them. Oh, yeah. Regis will make you think your shit wrong and you got the goddamn answer right. Are My you, favorite you sure episode that's what you want to do? The dude who didn't get none of the questions wrong. And at the last one, he was like, can I use one of my lifeline? Oh, like, yeah. And he yeah. called his dad to say he, he was... to call my dad and tell him yeah. a million bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, That was dope. That shit crazy. There was a lot of people that, you know, they use all their lifeline on some dumb shit. Have you ever been watching that shit like, damn, I wish I were there, but I ain't know none of the answers before that. It just was this seventy-five thousand dollar question I happen to know the answer to. What is that game, the old game show where they have to ask the questions and they like where you have to describe shit? They'll have them sitting face to face and they be like, "Okay, come on, uh, uh, they come in two, they round." Uh, what is charade? What's the name of it? Uh, uh, when, when you when you have a baby with somebody you're not married to, she's your. Uh, hey, mama, okay, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, come on. Uh, we ought to uh, do that shit, bro. <laughs> we got to do that shit. Uh, what's the name of it, though? It's, it's actually charade, but what's the name of the I show? I think the you? game is the $20,000 pyramid. I think that was it. I never, I've heard, I've Hold seen on. a game with a pyramid on it, but I've never just watched it. Let me see. If we didn't, if it didn't come on on Channel 3 before Days of Our Lives and Young and the Restless, I didn't know what it was, because that's how It's the $100,000 pyramid. That's what it was. Deal or No Deal was cool, but that's that's like a newer game show. Deal or No Deal? With the suitcase? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to be on that. I need to be on that. I've been saying I don't need to be on that for a long time. Go on, get that meal or whatever they Man. get. Man, you think I want to win a million dollars on TV? Mm-mm. Fuck, <laughs> no. He won't be able to get to the goddamn green room to get his bag. <laughs> Boy, I'm proud of you, boy. I see you. <laughs> you ever have people that call and check on you when you start doing good, but they ain't check on you when you were bad? Like, motherfucker, why you ain't calling and check on me when I was hungry? I ain't like I'm doing the same. I'm fucked up. I'm hungry now. They be pocket watching, though. Ain't shit in my pocket. They bet they be looking at your schedules and shit like that. Good. Look, ain't shit. I don't literally have a dollar on me. I, I don't have a dollar in my pocket. You got a dollar. But people think you have it. They pocket watch. No. Ain't shit in my pocket. Sometimes I, I just to fuck with them, I scoop my balls over into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> they want to pocket watch it. Watch these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it, people who ask me for money be people who I don't, you know, I don't owe nobody nothing. But it be people who like, why are you asking me for anything? Like people who did look out for me, my family and friends don't ask me for shit. Mm -hmm. They don't ask me for nothing because all my people they doing their own thing, they got their own shit going on, and I'm glad. Nobody mm -hmm. asked me for that. But the people who, who probably we were classmates or we lived on the same street, or uh, they bold with it too. They're they they complete bold. strangers. Very. They be the ones. They so never came bold. to no show. Ain't shared no video. Nope. I get offended when people ask me money. I do too. I, I just look at whatever they got going on in life, and then I just 
How dare you? Like, motherfucker be like, oh, I need some money. I'm going through it. I'm about to be home. And then I go to their page and I'm like, you was just in love. Or what the fuck? You you was fucking somebody else and gonna ask me for help. Are you serious? <laughs> It's harder for us to get money than it is for other people. That you gonna, understand. Uh, you going to ask me for some money? You're not even going to try to. you just going to ask me for some money. Like, I'm supposed to give a fuck. Hey. I we working Everybody. money so. Right. A man who do what I'm doing. I'm telling you, people act like, and then it's so easy. It's, it's a lot easier to work these days because everybody hiring. I've never no, nobody seen want to work. Nobody want to work. They want somebody to give. They it want somebody to, to give it to them. That what that PPP fucked everybody up. They've been lazy people, but it, it made it worse. Laziness is a motherfucking. It's not even a disease. No, it's a choice. You you have to choose to be lazy. I have a slight bit of laziness in me, but not to the point where I won't get off my ass and work. I have yeah, laziness because you in me. ain't you don't. That's a luxury to not be to have to get up and do some shit every day. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I'm not lazy. Then. No, I have a luxury. Taking advantage of it. But when you do work, look at the shit you do. You right, go right, right. to different states and spend the night and be uncomfortable. And then you get home. <laughs> shit. You going You might want to take a day to be like, man, fuck. No, that ain't. <laughs> but you know, it's it's people who are lazy who don't want to do nothing. Like absolutely nothing. Absolutely. There's some people so lazy they won't even go out and break the law and get some money. But the benefit of lazy people is they find a lazy way to make to do shit. Of course, because they lazy as a song of it. Now you got to give the hardest job to the lazy person because they're gonna find the easiest way to do it. Oh yeah. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah, lazy people find a way to do it. The, but is it dog manipulate dog? everything? Is the job gonna get done? Absolutely. To. They'll find a way to be lazy. You I gotta be lazy and smart, though. You can't be lazy and stupid. Cause there's some stupid ass lazy people out there too. That just ain't good. Some people are permanent fuck ups. Like they just gonna fuck up everything. Just, you give them some nice shit, they gonna fuck it up. Yeah, just nothing that they they <clears throat> nothing they touch. I mean, some people have dented up every car that they ever had. Some people like have fucking point, wrecked every car they think ever had. they would figure out how to not fuck shit up? Nope. I wanted to say something, but the camera's rolling. I ain't gonna do it. Because they watched the show. When have you ever stopped? But no, this is about a person who watched the show, so I'm not gonna do it. What they gonna do? Man, I don't want to feel like doing all that. Oh, that's on you. I can say whatever the fuck I want to. I know it. Anybody get mad at me? I don't give a fuck. They can. Let them be mad. Sometimes anger is good. I do. Yeah, you got it. Just to know you still alive. I don't like a lot of shit that people say. That don't stop them from saying it. No, it don't. <coughs> I just try to stay away from it. That's why I just block people all on social media. Oh. Um, yeah, that's that saves yourself a lot of time. Yeah. I block motherfuckers for the smallest inconvenience. I'm telling you, I can block you if I think you ugly. You ain't even got to say nothing wrong. Like, you just, I don't fucking like the way you look. You can be ugly. You can say some stupid shit. You can be posting shit. If I see you acting up, acting ugly and shit, I'm, I'm cutting you off. But if they ugly and chill, you cool. Yeah, you know I mean? It ain't even all about how ugly you are. It's about how ugly you acting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some ugly people that know how to act. Some motherfuckers be ugly on the inside, though. Of course. These is just rotten to the motherfucking core. Just ugly. <laughs> ugly than a motherfucker. No good for nobody. Mm. Well, in other news, everybody ugly to somebody. Yeah. That go back to what we were saying. <clears throat> There's no such thing as the best car. There's no such thing as the best looking person. There's no such thing as the flyest person. There's no such thing as the nicest house. When I get to heaven, though, I am going to ask God who had the best coach on earth during my time when I was there. You want to know? Because I'm sure it's like, like if they had a good pussy kind, somebody. What if he tell you, you hit him? 
I'm probably just, I'm like, hey, I, got, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have wanted to have oh. bragged about it before you came? Before huh? you went home, would you have wanted to know that before you came home that I hit the, the woman who got the best puss on her? No, nah, because that might make me lose motivation. Motivation for what? To get some more. Oh. That's the top of the mountain. Oh. The worst part about it. You gonna want some more regardless. Because mm -hmm. think about it, you done had some real good pussy and you done went and got some more. Man. And I, I done had some real good pussy and I went and got some more of it, but I done got some I more I had pussy. some real good pussy too. Ooh. <laughs> yes, sir. I have some real good pussy. It was some of the best. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time. I, Ain't yeah. nothing like losing your pussy privileges. What you mean? Yeah, she like, cut you, you off. Oh, man. When yeah. you can't get no more. I worked my way back in. Though. I don't ever think you can ever get enough. Like, one, it's always going to be like, one more time, one more time. Like, you're, it's just a never ending cycle. No, I ain't never got rid of my one or uh, my two like that. One. Sometimes you gotta cut them off because the pussy's too good. Yeah, because you're doing too much. It's, you can't handle it. All right. I don't, yeah, that, it does, that shit just it'll take over your mind. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Like, you got them. And then you just gotta tell yourself it's for the better. It's like a drug. You gotta wean yourself off of it. You yeah. gotta go cold turkey from that pussy. You, you gotta cut yourself off. off. <clears throat> huh? You gotta cut yourself off. Gotta be done. I do some stupid shit. Mm. Make sure. Oh, you ain't gotta do nothing stupid. Just ask him for some money. One good time. And mean it. That's it. More than you think. Yeah, it can't just be no little bit either. You got to put an elaborate plan together because they already think you got some money. So you got to call and hit them on some shit like they'll throw my account. Even though it sounds like some bullshit. You want it to sound like some bullshit. No, I don't. You don't got to do that much explaining. Just ask, just ask, just ask for it. How much? Three, four thousand. Yeah. But shit, that pussy might be... And so then good. be vague about it. Why you need it? So what's the reason? Not explaining. I'm saying because I might, I might hit up and later on because the pussy's so good. Like, hey, I don't, I don't got that little bread. What you up to? <laughs> you being a dope, you dope, dope man. You know I'm saying though, so she, she got to cut me off. I, you have to cut me off because long as I got access to it, I'm, I'm, ooh. Nah, you got, you got to know when to you got, walk away. I don't, I don't have that type of control. Okay, you'll find it one day. I hope so. I need to. Right now, I need to. Hey, man. You gotta love yourself more than that. I know it. I'm a punk bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that good shit had you tripping, man. <laughs> you know it ain't good for you. You know I it ain't know good it. no I way. I know it. I know it. You just about to crash out. Man, I be sitting back thinking of just things about it, bitch. I was in the house the other day, say, you, you know what? You sucker for love. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? This Al Purify got my house smelling good. and job. She might want one in her crib. It's just <laughs> shit like that. You got her one? I got one. I got one. I think you're in love, nigga. Nigga, I been in love Samuel. For real? Yeah. You don't remember that girl you walked out? Who was at Cats? You walked outside and said, don't talk to her like that. Well, it been some years ago. You probably don't remember that shit. No. Oh. Ain't no telling. Yeah. We was standing out in front of the cats. No. Having one of our conversations. Oh, okay. Don't let him talk to you like that. Cuss his ass out. That's probably exactly what I said. I'll be like that. Yo, I ain't know you was in love, man. Man, why you think I ain't doing just out here doing? I still do. No, nah, you cut it out. The streets don't need you. Just go on in the house, nigga. No, she, it, it's a different story. It's, it's complicated. No, we ain't nigga, together. We ain't together. together. We ain't together. I can still do what I want to do. No, you can't. Y'all got a pinky swear. Pinky swear. <laughs> swear ain't gonna do nothing crazy, babe. <laughs> nah. Yeah, it is. I can tell by how you talk, man. She done peed in your food. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't pee. What that mean, bro? You know what that mean? No, what that mean? What that do to you? I heard if they put some of they, they other shit in yeah. your food, and she didn't pee in your food, man. Yeah. She got your ass. 
Nah. Mm-hmm. She ain't, she ain't had none of my food, bro. She ain't, she ain't had none of Yes, she did. She bought me some food a few times. She ain't peeing my food. You think this is about actual food? What you talking about then? Now nah, tell me, because I'm lost. She got a root on me or some shit. What it is? I'm not familiar with that term. Hey, man. People who watching, they know what Please it put it in the comments so I can check. What does that mean? Peed in my food. Because I'm thinking she done put some actual piss in my my food. It's a figure of speech. Obviously. Well, whatever it means, it, it must be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> For you to say that. The seven years with no commitment. Yeah. Why would you do that? It's been fun. I low key. Sometimes I think I don't want no commitment, nobody. I think I like being able to do what the fuck I want to do, but still be in love with somebody. When you want to, yeah. if it worked for you, how they work? I can do whatever I want to do. I ain't got to do shit. Ain't nobody. Look, I can do what the fuck I want to do. Nobody. You don't believe it, huh? You said it too many times. You don't believe it. Yes, I do. I believe it. You I don't know believe it. it. I know it. You know it. I know it. I do what I want to do. Okay. What? All right. I know. Your nephew say you bullshit. Man. Your godson man. say you lying. I do what I want to do. I just don't want to do shit. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have beat me if I wouldn't have got tired of that nigga. Well, you ain't going to beat me no way because I ain't going to fight you. No, I'm just saying. You said, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I, I just don't want to do shit. Yeah, I don't. I'm a lazy ass nigga. I like to get some money and go home. <laughs> That'd be just like telling a nigga, I'll beat your motherfucking ass if you want to fight, but if you don't want to fight. Nigga, you got, she got you under control, man. She know you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna do shit. She done convinced you that you don't even want to do shit. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? Nothing. I'm good, though. It's fun. Hey, do what work for you, man. Yeah. Don't ever listen to me when it comes to no shit like that. You the sensei, bro. No, babe, I don't know shit about relationships. Dude. I thought you ain't want that lemon pepper. Hey, I had to let the other shit digest. Bro, what the fuck kind of wing is this? <laughs> Damn. I told you this bitch lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Look, lemon peppery. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm good, though. I enjoy life. You don't need no relationship right now. Hey, you might be right, though. You don't. It's a distraction. A lot of people been fucking up their relationships by trying to call it a relationship. Just let it be what it is. When you go to putting a title on it, that one motherfucker want to know where you're Because if you don't put yourself in shit, you don't got to get out of shit. Nope. That's just like marriage. You ain't got to ask nobody to get out of no goddamn relationship if you don't marry nobody. Hey, man. And they don't get to take shit. I don't know about that marriage shit. I ain't never been married. I don't know if I'm Because I ain't never seen nobody really happy enough that made me want to be like, I want some yeah. shit like that. I ain't never seen them just be like, you know what? Every I time need... I done seen some motherfuckers who was married, they always be like, don't do this shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, I don't, I don't, I don't. This shit hard, man. This shit hard. I don't want to do it. I don't want to <laughs> do it. I don't want to do it. That shit, uh, I don't even know why it's necessary. I don't need nobody to make no... Like, okay, if something happened to my mom and my sister, then I might go ahead and do it. Like, all right, somebody got to make a decision if I'm on life support. Especially if I ain't got no kid. I think it would be dope to be married to somebody who's just going to fuck with you forever till you die. Now, that's a dope concept. If I'm not Like, rich. whatever the fuck happened to me, you still gonna fuck with me. No matter what. Whether no I'm rich what. or poor. Like, if I gain 200 pounds, or I lose a foot, or an eye, you still gonna, you swear you gonna fuck with me. I fall off, don't make no more money. Come on, if we had to move back to the project. Disability. I get a job at Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck didn't happen? Like, is she gonna be? Is she gonna use her, her her bad bitch status or whatever to go find somebody else popping? Or she gonna ride it out with me? You give a fuck how bad she is. At some point, she's gonna be too old for this shit. Yeah, but still, is she gonna, she gonna stick out to you? Get old. With her too, right? What if this? What if she got 
She got four good summers left being a bad bitch. That she that might be all the more reason she ain't gonna waste it on my broke ass no more. She gone. That nigga at low. He ain't bringing in no goddamn check no more. <laughs> she used to be a stripper, the freakiest girl you know. Now look at her being a great mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then no, you know, shit. Where did they fall off? But they got niggas that take care of them though. You'll never see an ex stripper in the people greeter at Walmart. Yes, the fuck you will. <laughs> really? They usually start working for like the state of Georgia or like um They go be a nurse. Like Comcast or something. They work corporate. After, after that's what come after stripping, corporate. I know, you know what? He just right. moved to a different city, moved to like Charlotte or Houston. Yeah. Wherever you used to strip at, you just gotta switch one city and you back home. I used to dance in Miami. Look at you now. You run, you're a CEO. Fortune 500 company. Because most strippers already done been to college for a little bit. They about a year and a half, two years away from a degree. I don't seen a lot of them leave goddamn major city and do some good shit. A lot of them just got married and put up. Yeah. They don't never talk about I hate successful that shit, strippers. Too. Hell yeah. <laughs> I seen, I'm friends with one. I'm like, God damn, bro. I love when strippers have a, like a, a, a good job outside of stripping, too. Like, I love the hustle. Yeah. What you do in the daytime? Oh, I'm the manager at, at Enterprise Rental Car. Oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> the manager? Yeah, yeah, I run the whole, I got whole five branch. stores. Five stores? I'm so proud of you, Candy. <laughs> she know stripping like hell. Stripping like a motherfucker. Big old ass. Freaky as hell. <laughs> Serious than a motherfucker from 7 to 3. And picked them kids up. Goddamn, loud at 3 a.m. this bitch in here, dragging her pussy across the oh, goddamn. She don't get them. They got to be up in four hours. They ain't got time to argue with these hoes. Man. Nah, they do be having some good job when they leave. I ain't never met now they had a good job while they were stripping. But I done seen them leave the club and go have some good ass job. I knew a stripper that was a lawyer. While she was stripping? Bad little motherfucker, too. God damn. That just had to be for fun. Or uh, wasn't nobody hiring her. I can't figure it out. Maybe them student loans was hiding the motherfucker. I don't know. Yeah, God damn, though. Maybe she wasn't getting no clients, because shit. That bitch just wanted to take her clothes off, but she wasn't doing it for free. <laughs> what if they, what if that's that's it? If somebody doing that shit and don't need the money. Yeah, like I just like to take my clothes off in public, but bitch, you're gonna pay me. <laughs> I can't leave here with nothing. Like, I gotta get something. Like, yeah, I don't know. Man, it was a strip club in um I think that shit was up there where Chico and them at that weekend, Buffalo. Oh, okay. Like these motherfuckers, they don't um No, nah, it might not have been Buffalo, but fuck it. They don't give you no real money. Cause the club owner wanna make sure his stripper stop stealing from him. So what he do, he give you fake money in the, when you come in. And that's what you throw at the dancers. So if the dancers want their real money, they gotta come to him and cash out to get the real money. And that way he'll get his percentage off top. Cause they got to bring in everything they done made to get that that's real money. That's extortion. I would, don't fall for that. I, I, I ain't no stripper. No, I'm just saying all the strippers who all the strippers who agree to that goofy shit, he tricking y'all. Yeah, like shit. But you know shit, but think about it, he probably you know, God damn it, I know you done shook more ass than goddamn father than all of the night. I need my cut, because you know they be wanting their money. They have to what, tip, what you call that shit, tip out at the end of the night? What that you shit be? You know what it is. No, I mean. You know what it is. I don't have to tip out. I you tip. You know what it is. You done paid the bitch tip out. Yeah, I hate it, probably. No, nah, bro, you know what? Yeah, a couple times, I don't do that shit no more, but. They have to pay that shit. So I get buddy like, if he, he giving out shit like this. So we're now throwing, yeah, we're now throwing this shit out to the stripper. So if she want her real hundred dollars, she gotta take this to whoever the owner of the motherfucker is, and he gonna goddamn probably give her 85, 90 of it, so he can get his goddamn cut. So every hundred, he probably getting 10 off of it. See, but if you got them throwing out real money, a lot of these strippers probably take, oh, I ain't made but goddamn 2500 like, and probably don't make. Seventy five hundred. They got real money. They can do that. Fake money. Nah, hell no. This is good. Idea in theory. It's just not. It's not practical. morally right. It's not practical. No, nah, like, but hell, they shaking fake ass. Throw this fake money. He don't give a shit. That's a hell of a campaign slogan. <laughs> For him. I fuck with the stripper though. No, I do too. But no, nah, like they. Women like, think it's a whole lot more going on in the strip club than it actually is. 
We really ain't even that. A lot of people go to clubs and don't even get dancing. They just go in there and eat, smoke a blunt, and go home. I know I done went to Magic City plenty of time and got me some catfish and just smoked a blunt and went to the grill. <laughs> I do. I mean, hey. Two coochies, please. <laughs> 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 nah, I mean, that motherfucker eating, chilling. I like to watch them um, do the pole trick. That's my favorite. That shit on the pole, I don't know what it is about that shit, though. I like that shit. Way better than I like you coming mm -hmm. over here and I can't fuck you no way. We'd be fine. That's what I want to see. Coochie. They pulled the coochie out on the stage. Now, what you want to see? And them coochies. <laughs> <laughs> These two right here. So what's the best strip club in Atlanta? Ain't one. All of them cool. It depends on where you at in yeah, the city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? People like to say, people are... It's Which one? Where, where we at in the city? Where we at? Whichever one is the closest one to us, that's the best one. Yeah. If I'm over there toward Bankhead, I want to go to goddamn... Who play them all day? If I'm over there by the guy, if I'm picking my partner up from the Greyhound, he's like, let's go to a strip club. We're walking, walk right we're here we're walking the magic. Right there. If I'm on goddamn, if I'm if I'm near the south side. The strip club used to have nights, though. Like Monday night. Monday night in magic. Gold Rush still over there? I don't think so. Gold Rush used to be straight until I was some nigga with goddamn me. No, I used to love that hood shit. Stiletto. Stiletto pole went long enough. I ain't like the hole they had no guy. They ain't go up there. That was dancing, yeah. That was right yeah. beside Uptown. Yeah. That was dancing elite before that. Oh, I ain't know nothing about that. That was before my time. It was stiletto when I got there. Why used to be in there? Having the time of my life, bro. When I find out they let comedians in free, shit. Nigga, that's what kept the motherfucking doors open. Yeah, I ain't man. know that shit. They comedians was, kept they that bitch. Yeah, yeah, they fucked with us. Hell so, like, yeah. I'm like, goddamn, boy, we ain't got to pay shit to go to here. Come on. <laughs> I, miss, I'm, I miss my stripper who had the best weed in Atlanta. Oh, yeah, they did have some good weed. Stripper be having some good weed. They always do. And they be setting it for another day. I don't give a fuck who they selling it. Yeah, they be some good weed. <laughs> Those were the days, man. Just be in the strip club. Just chilling in there. Chilling. One night I was in that bitch, it got raided. The dance elite? Mm -hmm. God damn. Hell yeah. They just kick everybody out. Hell no, they lock the door up. and keep everybody in, nigga. The, even the people who don't work out? Everybody. For what? They checking permits, they checking everything. But what they got to do with you that they ain't got their permit right? Hey, that's just how they get down. So I'm saying, what happens to you if some, if, the, if the people who own the shit? Uh, you got to get them your ID and they finna check you and all that. Oh, okay, well, cool. Long as they ain't trying to hem me up, cause this nigga ain't got license for this shit. I had so much weed after that raid. Why? Cause they were throwing it on the ground. Nigga, everybody was throwing their weed away. <laughs> we was in the DJ booth, so they threw all the weed in the DJ booth, and they came ooh, in there last. Ooh. We done put all the weed on the shelf. Done hit it, man. Hell yeah. Were well, they looking for drugs? D Shout out to DJ K Bass. They were looking for drugs. Weed. I don't or they just wanted I don't nobody. What? I think they were just checking permits or yeah. some shit. Yeah, they wasn't nothing. I think a few chicks got a little citation, but that wasn't shit. Who come in now, the marshals? I don't know who the fuck they were. I when I see police, they all police. They all the me. police. Yeah, that shit crazy though. Motherfucker had them shotguns with the flashlight on. They came out with them out. Man, they had all that shit. For what though? They not playing about this shit. <laughs> Man, you can come in there and just have them to cut the lights on to come in there with flashlight. Ain't nobody gonna argue with your motherfucker, man. You ain't gotta have no shotgun. Oh, man, the motherfucker. I don't even think they turned the lights on in that motherfucker doing the whole little search. Wouldn't let nobody out. That shit was cool, though. No, the fuck it was? No, I'm talking about the club. Oh, hell yeah. We had plenty of nights at the strip club in, yeah. in Atlanta. Just got off from Tennessee. Yeah, five on minutes every on side, stage. nigga, from Pinnacles to Babes to. Uh, Blue Flame. We had a night at Blue Flame. Magic. You know? I used like to, a Wednesday night? used to host the amateur contest sometime for uh, Lightfoot when he wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, what's the other shit? Uh, Blaze. Uh, what Blaze was? Right, right, that's the one out there by where the truck stop at. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And then. I know they going to always stay open. Them you ever been to Foxy Lady? Lady? Foxy Lady. No, nah, I've been to Pink Pony. Ah, pink Pony. I did Pink Pony. Foxy Lady. 
Boy, that Pink was Pony, boy. That, that got, was one of the most classic ones. I don't even know how Pink Pony. You ever been to Stroker? No. Nah. Really? Ever been to the Stroke House? No. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I had a lot of fun at pinups too. I ain't been to pinups. You never been to pinups? Never been to pinups. I used to host the pinups. All I ever been to was like, uh, I've been to Blaze, I've been to Magic City, I've been to Platinum, I've been to. Uh, you ever been to Babes on Fulton Industrial? I don't think it's called Babes no more. Uh-uh. uh-uh. What about I've been Wax? been to Trapeze over there. You been to Wax? Wax, uh uh-uh. uh. You been to Wax? Uh-uh. Rich work at Wax. Uh, I've been to Trapeze, I don't do that. What are you doing at Trapeze, nigga? Oh boy. It's some, it's some lonely, freaky women in there that got some money. Oh, you just looking for some cougars and shit. I, I go in and just get me a towel as soon as I get in there. Whoever talk to me, I know you ready to fuck. <laughs> go get me a towel, get this cell phone, bitch. <laughs> and put the phone up. Yeah, you can't have no phone in there. I'm glad. That's why I be in there with a towel. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> come on through it. This nigga got a membership at the trapeze, yo. Yep. They go out every 60 day. They do? Yeah. <laughs> you have to get renewed every 60 day. Hey, what's up, man? Carlos Miller. Look, you know the 85 South Show is back on tour with the Big Business Tour. This year, we're hitting the road and we're bringing comedy, culture, and chaos to cities all across the country. And we want you to be a part of it. We're looking for partners in every city, whether you're a local business or a national brand. This is your chance to get in on the action. Don't miss the opportunity to sponsor a show and connect with our incredible audience. If you're interested, just hit the email on the screen and let's make big business happen together. The 85 South Show Big Business Tour is coming to a city near you.